I can't wait for uh, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo! Next up on the Elden Ring Clown Show. You know, let me pause this. We're gonna be reacting to the worst Elden Ring hot takes. And I did react to Elden Ring Sucks, which was a review that, my god, that was quite amazing. But let's react to this right away. The community around this game has been nothing short of spectacular in my experience. People are making art, maidenless memes that get upwards of 10,000 likes on Twitter and Reddit. I do love Elden Ring, but I am in absolute no community of Elden Ring whatsoever, except for one YouTuber that does mods. And I just love seeing all the community creations and videos being made on YouTube across all platforms. Most of us playing and engaging with Elden Ring have been having the time of our lives. And the reason I bring that and up I'm still is because playing. Well, there's a lot of hot takes from people who are super jealous of that. I am 100% sincere when I say without any... Elden Ring sucks and here's why. Should I be watching every single one of the separate videos or... No, that, that, that will take too much time and that is too much toxicity for me to even handle. But this video is 31 minutes, so... Camera, please survive. Sarcasm that Elden Ring can suck my... Excuse me! If there's a lot of profanity, I have to bleep it out. But their opinions can't ruin something as pristine and beautiful as Elden Ring. Hell no, it doesn't matter what anybody says, I will still play it. Even if they... No, let me not Let me not finish the sentence. So instead, a lot of these people just kind of flail about making incoherent rants in the vain hope that Miyazaki will add an easy mode at some point. <laughs> That's right, we're going to be looking the at easy the mode is you basically just... Town. So strap on your Estus flask and take a swig every time I show you something stupid. But before all that, I'm about to poison myself with a variety of different hot sauces. Well, good thing is drinking hot sauce, but Elder Ring has easy mode. But not the way that you think it has, though. The easy mode for Elden Ring is basically you playing the game in a way that will make everything easier for you. You can just go for a blood loss build. You will basically cruise through the game because everybody... Most enemies are subjective to blood loss, so you have that advantage. By the way, I just figured out there is like somber smithing stones that you can upgrade to level 9. The moment that you get out of limb grave, you can get somber smithing uh, 9. And then you just basically have to level up at that point. Which there's also easier ways to do so. You can be an absolute monster at the beginning of the game just by requiring and exploring the world. Obviously, you will never know these these things the moment that you get out of the game, but you can do that. Probably the hot takes that blew up the most were what Thank these you. three devs said about Elden Ring. And these people were from Guerrilla Games, Ubisoft, and I don't understand. Wait, are they saying that Elden Ring doesn't have these things? What are you guys talking about? So every game has to be exactly like the same copy as your games <laughs> i like the way that i actually paused the video elden ring doesn't need to have the same let's say structure of game that you created they are li minecraft doesn't have i have to literally say minecraft all the time because my god minecraft doesn't have a quest design the fact that elden ring scored a 97 metacritic is proof that reviewers don't give a flaming poop about game user experience oh user experience game user experience which yeah i was i was right about my that. life is a lie no pc graphics stability and performance apparently no quest design really now what these people are really saying is I'm jealous of From Software's success yeah. because it overshadows my own. I am insecure in questioning my career and design choices. Hey genius, maybe somebody's yeah, just like... better at making video games than you. Or maybe not even that, it's like different styles of game. Maybe that, that that's the case. Maybe they're just different styles. Or yeah, they're better making videos games than you. Yes, that that could be literally be a bigger option. I think I'm gonna go with with what he says there. <laughs> Maybe there's thousands of people better at making videos than me. Let's just be happy for them. Yeah. Why is it so hard? Comparison is the thief of joy. And wait, reviewers don't care about PC graphics. Have have we been playing the same game? God damn! But yo, that, 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 that. <laughs>
to me, these developer tweets are like way out of left field because most devs on Twitter celebrate each other's success. Luckily, the memes that came out of this were just pure gold. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, they're not mad about the game itself. They're mad about the fact that people are going at them and comparing them to Elden Ring. Yeah. Allow me okay. to play you a brief but powerful slideshow. But instead of them bashing on Elden Ring, they should just basically... What the heck is this? Why would we have so... Like, this looks awful. The experience of Elden Ring is basically you having the ability to literally see everything clear as day. A.K.A. The nature and the graphics, the beauty of Elden Ring is that you're able to see the scope of the entire world without doing anything but just existing in the world. Now, having all that bullcrap just basically ruins the view. <laughs> uh. Okay, now it's exaggerating a lot. Now I want to make it clear, it's okay to dislike a video game that I like. It's okay to enjoy something that I do not. Dog model. This goes without saying. <laughs> what I care about is if your reasons are good. Unlike this next guy Dog who model. posted one of the worst Elden Ring reviews uh, I've ever seen. To be fair, like, if you don't like Elden Ring, fair. This game is terrible. I don't care what anybody says. You can tell someone's angry when they're just like shaking the fucking game case in the video and that's like that's the video i was gonna do a video on it this is it this is the video it's gonna be a quick upload so let's summarize this guy's Where's this very video brief even at? experience on YouTube with Elden Ring and examine else. the reasons why he thinks it's trash um coming off the the heels of my elden ring sucks video because the game does by the way i try to find that video I couldn't find this video for the life of me. A hundred percent he regretted and then removed it probably because he got a lot of people coming at him, but at the same time, but you should have just kept the video, man. You were getting quite a lot of this video because the game right. does suck. It's a terrible, terrible example of game design. Please give me a reason. Why your glasses look like that though? Elden but Ring is bad because it doesn't follow game design principles. <laughs> and no, I won't elaborate on what I think those are. That's yeah, up to but... your imagination, not mine. I got all the way through that that beginning of the game. It was very bland. So okay. <laughs> I get to that guy with the mask. I accidentally attack him. He accidentally, my ah Oh god, I can't say the uh, age. <laughs> accidentally, how do you accidentally attack an NPC three times? Yeah, I know how many attacks that you need to do to basically make an NPC retaliate. Unless you have borderline amounts of damage that I think they react as well to the amount of damage that you also do. Because there were one time that I did attack twice, but I had a Melania blade, which literally half helped him the first hit I did. And then the second hit, I, I don't know if he got reacted on the second hit or the third hit, but because I did so much damage, he reacted right away on the second hit so you're not attacking somebody by mistake <laughs> on the third hit my g especially when you're in a dialogue you can't attack so you're saying that you were on a dialogue talking to the npc and then accidentally attacking because you were smashing buttons <laughs> you can't do that when you're in a dialogue you can't swing your blade so it was no mistake. <laughs> Kills me. So you arrived in Limgrave and immediately attacked the first non-hostile NPC. So you must have ignored the talk button at the bottom of the screen when you walked up to him. As well as his non-threatening pose exactly. and lack of wielding any kind of weapon. I respawn right in front of him. He kills me. Re yeah, because they will be aggro to you. <laughs> Forever. Like, it's like... Elden Ring is basically like, imagine Elden Ring is alive, right? It doesn't matter how many days in Elden Ring passes, they will still remember that you attacked him. It's like in real life. If somebody robbed you, you saw his face, you will remember that person for the rest of your life, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. 
and you're probably if you encounter him again you will have some negative reaction towards that person so that's what the npcs are doing to you because you attack them so you're basically in this story you're basically the robber and they're the victims and they hate you right now <laughs> and they He's ain't gonna gone. forget he about kills that. me you didn't attack him on accident because he takes at least three hits to trigger aggro and i tested this See? he I even told you. says do you even comprehend the gravity of this choice no <laughs> bruh you ignored his dialogue. He's wow. like, are you sure you want to continue attacking me? <laughs> yes, you do. All right. Gonna have to teach you a lesson. Respawn, finally get away. <laughs> See this big thing, horse, minotaur looking thing. Kills me one hit. But bro, are you complaining? You cannot be complaining about this. Come on. That is literally moron. No wonder you took your video down. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I respawn right in front of the guy who kills me. I'm like, how is this fun? Reset the game now. <laughs> you have no choice but to reset the game. He is important in a certain way to basically make things easier in the long run for you. You could kill him in the beginning of the story. Like, if you know already everything that you need in the game because he gives you pointers... You don't need him. Plus, he will give you also a talisman to, to get you to a, a specific location where you grind, like the holy grail of grinds of this game. And there's other ways to go there, by the way. But this is the fastest way if you don't kill him. If you do, hey, you can still go there, okay? You can still go there. How is this fun? So you die to this guy a few more times before Just figuring out how to run away. And then you run straight towards the giant <laughs> off golden knight on a horse. And you're surprised that he's hostile too. And there's supposed to be a lock-on system, but my guy decides to start swinging wildly. Tell me. The lock up. By the way, I never played Elden Ring with a controller. I played with a mouse and a keyboard even now and the lock is basically just doing this i don't even know the name of the button tell me you're not making this video without knowing how to lock on i've i've never seen someone invalidate their own opinions as a game critic so effortlessly <laughs> to be f so Whoa. we can ass to be fair um well to be fair i didn't make a review on the first video i did on elder ring which would be crazy because I didn't even know how to sprint in the game. So I would be the worst reviewer if I basically didn't explore all the mechanics of the game and basically view the bosses, most of the bosses of the Assume game. Assume that he ignored everything in the tutorial because the tutorial teaches you how to lock on. He couldn't, you couldn't even Google this like, hmm, there's supposed to be a lock on system. Consult Dr. Google. And there's supposed to be a lock-on system, but my guy decides to just start swinging wildly. I point the camera back at him, it gives me a light lock-on, and he starts swinging wildly. I'm like, the guy moves, and I'm still swinging wildly. I'm like, how is it? I don't care what anybody says. Oh, you gotta do this. Oh. Press in on... What do you mean you don't care what nobody says? Like, bro, look at the instructions. Like, God bless. On the right stick... Don't attack that guy, sneak past the big horse. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Like, homie, you can't just ignore literally everything the game is trying to tell you and then blame to be the fair, game. Like, how does a guy who the... has hundreds of games on his shelves not <laughs> understand the concept of a non-hostile NPC? These games are not enjoyable. Yes, I get there are people out there that like it. And this game is not a 10 bro i really want to know why you even say that with actual concrete evidence like everything that you said there is my head has just said to recharge itself but as i was saying everything that you said there is basically your own fault 90 percent of the players didn't come out of the cave and then just start attacking the npc for no reason and if you did attack him by mistake it will only be one attack and then you basically say oh damn i attack him by mistake oh sorry then you just basically continue the quest out of 10 nowhere near even if it ends wildest dreams dude just like make a new guy you couldn't have been more than 10 minutes in make a new guy and just don't attack him but nope <laughs> he gave up right there like, imagine posting a review without even killing a single enemy. 
in a Souls game. What is up with people giving on. these types of yes, reviews this, when like, they this is it. don't this even is play the game? This is of the game. Ha. This is one Hell, of the they don't even play the game. My last reaction was a guy that didn't even play the game. And gameplay and just you must have been this guy at least played like, it, but... Why did that guy I stabbed My start God. swinging back? Could That's you crazy. imagine inviting this guy over to play Smash Bros? And he's like, why are you attacking me? It's a fighting game! Allow me to show you the cherry on the cake. The piece de resistance to cap off this video. This is not a good game. It is not a My ring fell. Game. Not even if it wanted to. I can't wait for uh, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo! Next up on the Elden Ring Clown Show. It you know, let me pause this. Apparently this guy Quantum TV made an Elden Ring review that he later deleted. People saw it was filled with terrible takes and made fun of it, like you do on the internet. One of these videos happened to be from a 17 year old Ooh. British guy a named Mischief. And his response video triggered My hair hurts. This also led to a bunch of other YouTubers picking up the story, uh, which led to Quantum making more videos and justifying his insane My takes hurts that you're about reason. to see. I don't know why. It's like a rabbit I hole we don't even want to go down. But I want to give a shout out to Mischief. So his link will be in the description. Go check him out and subscribe. Pretty good content for his age, I gotta say. But it's, it's real scary if you're a small content creator and you're just being threatened with copyright strikes. It's such like a dick move to do, so True. give that guy some support. I never right? got a copyright strike, but I did get claimed. Can you please Even though I shouldn't be getting claimed on. because I do be I editing a editing a lot of my Today videos, I'll be giving but... you guys a review of Elden Ring. Essentially, I don't buy this game. The name of the game should not be called Elden Ring. The name of the game should be called You Die. Again and again and again. I suppose if you never get good, then yeah, you'll keep dying. Because that's all you're really gonna spend most of your time doing. You're gonna die because the game has no easy difficulty. There, The difficulty spikes when you get to certain bosses. You're just, it's so unfair that- The difficulty spikes is- You'll find yourself keep spending on. so many hours losing time away from your life. So I would say this game is for somebody who really is looking for a sandbox. They have no family, <laughs> no friends, no life, and they have literally thousands of hours to grind away. Why? Wait, sandbox, no family, no friends, and a lot of hours to grind away well boys and girls we have no family <laughs> <laughs> this is a game made for people without families Jesus. fuck you orphans you probably <laughs> i can't understand why this guy was getting flack they have no family no friends no life you are maidenless where do you come up with this do you just do you just get out of bed in the morning and you're like Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna be a fucking asshole today. When you die, you lose everything you collected. Oh, it's talking about runes. I was about to say, wait, this isn't Minecraft. <laughs> I was about to say, wait, you drop your sword, you drop your flask. What do you drop? Oh yeah, your runes. Yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> everything. That it's just your runes, my G. Yeah, you lose your runes. Ooh, that's good that water. You start over. So leveling up is extremely hard because of the nature of the game and its difficulty level. And, it, and it's not fun. There to be fair, there is easier ways to level up. Like I said, the previous part There's of There's nothing fun about this game for somebody who is new to the franchise. And that's kind of the crux of the issue, right? I am new to the franchise. I am literally the exception. I have never played any hard game in my life. My hardest game that I ever played was Super Mario. Or when it was on Game Boy or Ratchet and Clank. These are my hardest games. This was the first time I'm playing a game seriously because of YouTube. Never played Dark Souls or anything. And this was my first experience and I loved it. I beat it faster than people that play Dark Souls. What? And I didn't search anything. I played it blind. By the way, the playlist for Elden Ring is on the description. You're going to love it. I'm pretty sure. This is what I try to do when I criticize a game or a series that I'm not all that familiar with. I'm much softer about my criticisms. How have an understanding that there's fans that know more about this series than you do so make it clear yeah. you're coming from an outsider perspective make you and know. maybe try not to flame the audience 
you know, because may, maybe you want your own audience to grow, and if you're being an asshole, it might be kind of hard. Quantum, just just some food for thought. And then you look at the we all need to be stuff. nice to it's other people. It's a joke. It is literally a joke. And then you Did look say at the graphics, graphics are a joke. It's a joke. It is like last gen being sold for new gen. Like I don't understand like who they made. this game for where like you want low frame rates but that that for me that's a massive deal breaker i'm a massive motion buff and to do something like okay. that is unacceptable complaining about the frame rate is a valid criticism should that uh, be okay. like the biggest factor in your but the graphics though what you talking about the graphics are amazing unless you have other games that will basically do to on elder your review then. probably Please, tell me not what games do you but think i'll give that to you you need also to compare you know so that i can actually see just like running around kind of aimlessly if i'm being honest it's one of those games where like open world it's so spread out the map is so big you're gonna spend a lot of time running around in a very open field that doesn't necessarily have a particular purpose for being that open you're gonna spend a lot of time it doesn't have a purpose to be Th that is the whoa bro have you played minecraft Running around a very open field. What? What's that? You said it's an open world game? It... What's an open world game again? I'd like there to be a purpose it's to... what you just explained. Everything is interactable <laughs> and things like that, but it just doesn't feel like that. The game is very interactable. You can roll into just about everything. You can blend in with the scenery around you using a particular item. Certain landscapes I never use will that actually item, be actually. destroyed throughout a boss fight. The game is very yeah. interactable. It sounds like that is actually you cool. haven't played it much. And I think without spoiling any parts of the story, which is lackluster, by the way, I think that will be as honest as anyone's going to be about this product. I don't know who they made it for. Who, who did they make Elden Ring for? It couldn't possibly be the 12 million people that bought it within <laughs> three weeks. Again, I, I couldn't speak That's lowly. That's a lot of copies. Don't <laughs> recommend it. And I think if you're smart, okay. you just play something else. If I can find something if good don't to say it, that's, about that's okay. Call of Duty Ghosts and Call of Duty Vanguard, there's hope for everything. Find something good to say. That's the review. Take it or leave it. Okay, so that was that was pretty terrible. But guess what? Okay, that's his Part review. Two. Oh boy. Oh boy. So. By the way, if it's his review, does that mean that um, he played the game? But how much did he As play, though? you guys though? know, I did a review on Elden Ring. That I doubt it he finished it, well, but... apparently, for some people. Yeah, you can say that again. So, I'm receiving some backlash now that I wanted to address with some of you, because... How much you want to bet this guy is going to deflect why he's getting backlash? A lot of you are not only being childish, but I don't think you're actually seeing this objectively. You see, every single Dark Souls fan watching this video right now had I'm to not. die a million and one times to learn how to play that game. Using that experience and laterally jumping over into Elden Ring, you're able to, again, experience that level of challenge, but it's not as hard because you've already done something similar before. Honestly, I think I'm hot okay. shit every, every time a new FromSoft game comes out. But and that's I get fair. I ass kicked again and again. Even when Demon's Souls Remake came out. Well, to be fair, there are Dark Souls players that actually got rocked even harder than me that never played it. I actually beat the game in an easier way than Dark Souls people were beating the game. So that is also true. Like you can literally see both ways. Both ways can actually go go accordingly. The game I'd already beat. But he's before. not wrong. The game, it still kicked my ass. And that's what I love about the games. They always find a way to, to surprise you. But you see, somebody like me, I've never played Elden Ring. I've never played Me Dark neither. Souls. I don't Me even neither. I didn't even know Elden Ring was a part of the Dark Souls series. And you know what I'm That part I don't well, Dark Souls series no, I also didn't know. Yeah, I talk neither. about flaws with the series, the same thing I met with the TV world, where when you mention a problem with something, fans of that series just damage control it. They'll say stupid petty, chisty, catty, childish shit like Oh, you've lost credibility because you've spoke your mind. You you gave your opinion. You now have no credibility with me. No, I think you lose credibility when you talk about things that you don't really understand. When you try to pass it off as, like, fact or, you know, when you say things like... Okay, bye, bitch. I don't give a fuck. The reality is, that's my opinion based off of playing it as a new person. They have no easy mode. The graphics are dog shit. Are you sure about that? The graphics are dog shit. The graphics are like, dog shit. 
the graphics are dog shit. What do we classify as like your so opinion? Elden Ring's there are limits, are right? Your opinion can just say whatever you them. want and then Versus, basically make it. It's my opinion when it's absolutely the, the opposite of what the fact the same is. Thing. But which one do you hate more? Right? There's a difference between like matter of fact, like this animation is broken and I think the graphics are bad. I think that. You get you get what I'm saying? Language, people. And the thing that really pisses me off is all these fucking fans of this game know that the graphical issues are there. They'll try to say it's okay or it's passable. It's shit. Be honest. The stuttering problems, uh, I played the game despite that because the game was so good. Is it bad? Yes. Did it stop me from playing the game? It only no. happened a few times, to be fair. When you look at the game, and itself, doesn't the stuttering happen because it's the online aspect of the game, or is it just me? But I did have that, those issues. But the a hundred hours that I played on this game, <laughs> did that happen constantly? No, probably in total like ten minutes of my entire it's experience. It's clunky. Actually, or less than that. But, for a new person just getting in, I don't know how it is for you. Controls are shitty if you're a new person to any game you have to Bro, learn the look controls, at my first man. <laughs> guys i really do want you guys to see my first video of elder ring that was a catastrophe because i'm playing on a mouse and a keyboard and the controls that i'm basically viewing on the screen are all basically for xbox so i am there confused out of my mind trying to figure out what control goes with my keyboard and mouse literally chinese and english in one freaking take and I still beat the game with worse controls than anybody. It's not a fucking flight simulator. The controls. I have worse controls, so and I still beat the game on the controller. Like, yeah, like I had his controller <laughs> on my keyboard. Vet, I couldn't do anything. I, right? you, you are. It took That's me two true. hours to know how to so freaking jump. The boss hits you, it takes so much of your life away. <laughs> and three days to know how to run. Vigor. Yeah. But let me just give you a little personal insight as to how I like the game. Enlighten me. I come yeah. home from work. I'm trying to unwind. I'm trying to relax. I'm not trying to sit there stressed out on some fucking game yelling at the screen trying to hashtag don't play it. get good because no don't like play this it. mentality that all you guys have kind of gotten submitted into you guys literally sound like this is one of the facts that hey before you buy the game please search it your whole problem will be solved just there and there your whole problem will be solved if you just don't buy the game <laughs> it's like you should know it's not your type of game the moment that you research it. or i do a research before i basically watch any series or an anime trailers exist yes and everything but you need to do a little bit of you know to just to see well to be fair just the trailer alone would basically solidify your entry to that good anime that you're probably trying to go for yeah research it does you wonders like abuse victims right yeah. like you're in a really shitty relationship and that's just how it is man you know you just take it on the chin man it's how it is you sound like abuse victims what a what a kind thing to say dude oh what's that you like a video game you fucking abuse victim i bet your girlfriend that's slaps your nutsack at night while you're sleeping just just to fuck with you because you like elden ring uh, it, you shouldn't be saying that's how do it i really is, or, just you know we just know that that's how the <laughs> games are it's not for everyone a game that's not for everyone isn't a game that should be made in my opinion a game that is not for everyone is a game that shouldn't be made, in my opinion. Call of Duty. What game does this man play? Now I'm curious. What the hell are you playing? Pocahontas 3D? Uh, but no, no, that that doesn't even make any sense because it's rated for somebody. That means there are other. If there is a ra oh my god, my brain is even going turning into mush because of this uh, freaking sentence. Like if oh, it's no, rated, those are gone. That's gone. Those aren't for kids. Halo Reach but... rated, rated M. That's gone. Fable, ah, oh, not kids are playing that. Bioshock, that's gone. Mass Effect, sex and that. Dragon Age sucks. Tales of Vesperia, Game rated T, not for everyone. For uh, Modern everyone. Warfare, you're gone. Should Dragon Ball Z, oh, there's violence in that, not made for everyone. I'm really Fighting trying to game. figure out uh, what Warfare, he's trying yo, to say yeah, about that. That's made for nobody. Advanced Warfare. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Uh, infinite Warfare? Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> that's made for nobody. Advanced Warfare, <laughs> that's made for even less people. Oh god, oh, getting rid of all of this. All this, all this. No more games, no more games. None of these are made for every single person on the planet. Gotta get rid of everything. Everything burns. A game that's not for everyone is I'm confused. Game that should be made, in my opinion. What I'm do you confused. mean? No sing I'm I'm trying to figure I like my brain is trying to circle around and trying to see his point of view. Why would he say a game that is not made for everyone isn't for it's not for no one then. It's like nobody should play it. Like is he talking about Flappy Birds? Flappy Birds is a game for everyone. Bro, I'm trying to figure out what game is actually for everyone. It's even hard to find games for everybody. That quote, it doesn't matter how you try to freaking spin that thing. You cannot find a reason for Single why he said it. product on the planet can be made for everyone. I don't know why people use ultimatum statements like this. It's like, it, it always goes back to the accessibility thing. Like, maybe you just don't enjoy this thing and you should get over it. I can live exactly. with the knowledge that tampon advertisements don't don't target me. They don't they don't sell me on tampons. I feel left out of the tampon industry. And that's an industry I really want to get into cuz I'm such a pussy. I want <laughs> every single thing on the planet to revolve around me. I think that that, that might be one of the worst takes I've I've ever oh, heard. That was nice. Games are supposed to be fun. Transcend <laughs> the reality that we have right now, take you to new worlds, give you new abilities. You're but it's fun though. By the way, I will go I will agree with you on one thing. It's not fun when you're dying a hundred times on a boss and you're basically actually even then it could be a little bit of fun because you're taking enjoyment or it's not even enjoyment, it's like the thrill of trying to beat that boss because you do know the reward it's like the more you lose the bigger the reward is going to be once you beat that boss because you're not just beating the boss for the item that you're going to get from it or the runes you're beating the boss for the achievement of actually conquering an obstacle that's one of the biggest achievements that you get from beating these boss like people get hysterical just from beating the boss like Screw the weapon that they give you. Like, we are freaking stoic the moment that we beat something that beat us 100 to 50 times. That's just, the, that's how the games are designed to be hard so that you can defeat. And once you defeat those things, you get the gratitude of actually getting a Go victory. Do things that you never, ever could do in the real world without consequence and be accessible to anyone regardless of experience level. Like, when people, when people like this say every game should be made for everyone... It's like, okay, so why do why the fuck do we have a rating system then? Because not every game Oh wait wait wait. So E is rated for everyone, right? Wait, wait, wait. It's like, okay, so why do why the fuck do we have a rating system? Yeah, yeah. E is rated for everyone. Uh everyone ten plus wait, there's E ten plus? Even for everyone, there's still a rating for ten plus system then. Bro. Because not every game is made for everyone. Because the reality is, if it wasn't so ridiculously hard and you had the thrill of dying a bunch of times, it's really a lackluster game with shitty graphics. The graphics are dog shit. The graphics are dog shit. What game is shitty it graphics? Playing? Shitty graphics. Again, I'm new to the franchise. I had no idea what it is, and then you, the problem then be is you're kind. new to the franchise. You act like your opinions Why are, you are bashing more important it than is so else's. much. It's like no, your opinions are less important. That's what we're trying to tell you. Of course, when you go to the community as a new gamer, you would if you would think right as. Uh, but okay, he's trying to express his opinion on his own way as physically possible. I. Maybe his other wait, my recording 40 minutes. Okay, maybe his uh take on this, right? It's like all his content, he basically does this type of content, like he throws out his emotions, he throws out his most raw opinion on any interview that he does. He was always like this, and he always does this on every video. So Obviously, he's not going to switch to be making like a like a more passive way, you know, 
like uh even nostalgia critic sometimes does like uh ah god i'm trying my man i'm trying like hey man you know let's do those bosses together i'll help you out you know only five people the right those people are gold they they they're gold people and for those five people that do, did say that and try to help you, I will be the sixth person because I really do want a friend to be playing Elder Ring with me. So that would be cool. You just play Elder Ring and we would have fun. Like you don't need to upload anything. You don't need to say anything. Me neither. Just let's just have fun. Experience the game. I would literally do the best of my capabilities to just have fun. Which... We're gonna be hard, but we're gonna be happy. Rest of them were like, "Oh, you're a clown. You've lost credibility. It's, it's demeaning." You would you would think people would be welcoming. I only told them that if you like this game, you probably don't have any friends or family. Why why don't you like me? You pieces of <laughs> shit. You're supposed to like me. Well, how are your people skills so bad? That is also you true. You did like, hey, you did call them. People doesn't make you friends. did insult them. Yeah, you insult them after you become friends. Because you're new to a game that's known by the way, for being incredibly fucking difficult. And it's your fault, not the devs fault for not thinking of every single player of all kinds of walks of life. They don't care. They don't care about what? you. This game isn't for you. Not every game should be made for everyone. He's the type oh of guy God. that, you know those dudes when they're talking to a woman and they're like, wow, I think you're so pretty and hot and they reject him and he's like, Fuck you bitch, you're so ugly, I hate you. I gotta censor that as well. Do I have to censor every word? Like, this is 30 minutes and my recording is already 50 it's minutes. It's like, this like, is how Jesus. they deal with not being included or not being accepted by people or a community or someone. It's that, like, rejection of, like, I didn't like you anyways. I didn't want to be a part of this community. And so they just, like, self-sabotage. It's it's a challenge, and it has to be for players who think every game is fucking easy, and if you aren't one of those players, then you are a scumbag, you filthy casual. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. <laughs> Why am I still getting hate? <sighs> why doesn't he be a little bit nicer, man? I can see why you deleted it's this video. To be nice. I can't Wait. understand... That video is deleted? Bro, if you're deleting videos, at least come about and say, hey, I may be a little bit harsh on, <laughs> not a little bit, but <laughs> I may, I was harsh on my statements, okay? Just come out and just say that you're harsh on your statements. If you want to apologize, yeah, it's on you. If you're strong, a believer of your own opinions, don't apologize. Just do you. Yeah, do you uh but don't forget you're an online creator aka your opinion is around the world so everybody can bash your opinion whether it's good or bad and yes what i'm saying right now can also be bashed because i'm also giving my opinion why so you posted it in the first this. place i'm See? not gonna sit here and like be demeaned and talked down to because I don't enjoy a shit fest of a game that you're on the internet. You're on the internet, Quantum TV. People are gonna not like you. Where your misunderstanding is, but hopefully by explaining this to you, I can maybe kind of smooth out your aggression and your backlash. Again, nothing against you, it's not a personal attack. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. If you like what you like, but <laughs> he made a part three video. Hold on to your butts. Now here's what I'll say to prove that the game is terrible. Oh, he's go he's gonna prove it. Prove it. But essentially it all resorts okay. back to the same thing. You the problem is with these people trying to prove Elder Ring is bad, they don't have no proofs. Like, I haven't seen anybody giving proof that Elder Ring is bad. Like, they give the most ignorant excuses ever. And we're going to see it right now. <laughs> you do not need an easy mode or any kind of easier mode or even a normal difficulty option. You know what? Screw difficulty options altogether. The game is designed to be ultra hard, ultra challenging, that's the purpose of the game. If you give it a difficulty option, all you're doing is destroying the game and there's no point in playing it. You know what that there... means, guys? That means this is a dumpster fire. Just toss it in the trash. I don't know how many Why? times I'm going to have to point to this video I did about but difficulty Ring options is easy. in Souls games. But I'm going to continue doing it as long as dumbasses keep reiterating their same stupid points. Games can Ooh. be made with multiple difficulty options in mind or only one. Bro. It's up to the developer's intent. I don't see anybody 
talking shit about the original Super Mario Brothers, you move and jump. Two buttons and a D-pad. It doesn't get much more accessible than that. But oh no, the original Super Mario Brothers doesn't have a difficulty option. It's so inaccessible to me. I can't play this. It's trash. Throw it in the trash. Let's talk graphics. The game was delayed four years, right? The game was delayed for four years? I don't I'm raising know. raising an uh, eyebrow to that I one. I don't know that information. I just realized that Elden Ring was Actually, coming out when was it was only coming out. Delayed for a month. So that was a f***ing lie. This game doesn't really break the mold of any <laughs> open world game that has ever existed. It doesn't. Wait, 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 what? The mold of Delayed for a month. So that was a f***ing lie. This game doesn't really break the mold of any open world game that has ever existed. It doesn't. It absolutely does, because... Have you ever played an open world game? That's my question. You 100% never played an open world game. From software has successfully taken their more linear enclosed areas and transitioned that formula to an open world seamlessly better than I never most played other any other open open games, games from them. Uh, Elden Ring is my only game that I played, so as an open world I don't title. have an opinion no compared to the other games that, that they like made. Razzle so. and dazzle and break the mold while also offering a super challenging experience. No! What the? F and and I do want to that was amazing. Radon. The game has a toxic player base. This is where they always go. They flame the player base and then get flack, and they're like, "Well, this is." I don't know the community. Toxic. I just told I'm not the a part of the community. The only reason you like this game, and not even I never saw the Reddit or, or the no, Twitter no, no, or no, anything. No, I don't know about the community. The game has a. Am I part of the community? Cult like. I like the game. Base. Does that make what me a part mean? of the community? This means that Maybe. the players of Elden Ring are likened to people who would rather drink blood from a cup than your neighbor next door. They are very weird people. You're you're weird for liking this game. Maybe your experience with these people has something to do with what you've said. Drinking to blood. We are equivalent to drinking blood. I'm not trying to be mean. I am, bro, I if, probably I'm the only person that is trying to be the nicest way possible without saying any mean things. Because at the end of the day, it's your opinion, as you said, but your opinion is to them. At the end of the well, day, whoa, 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 whoa. So, 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 there are certain things that you're saying here. It's not even a, a case of you being your opinion, by the way. There's limits to what your opinion can do and say, basically. Like, you're going by... You're bypassing your opinion at this point. You're just... <laughs> you're, you're not even saying your hey, opinion you anymore. Up, and I stand by what I said what? 100%. If you Google Quantum <laughs> TV right now, or you look Quantum TV up on YouTube, rather, you will I see won't a string actually. of attack videos because of my opinion of the review that I issued out. In a day Maybe I will. <laughs> Will I react? No, this is enough. This is 31 minutes. Like, God damn. Essentially, did. gamers of a certain tier level that like to illegally download people's videos, re upload them, and smack talk over them to own their review talking points, they call it fair use. <laughs> okay. Leave, 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 folks. Bro, hmm. you can download videos off YouTube. It's not illegal. They don't care how much of the video they're using. They completely ignore the four factors of fair use used and publicly broadcasted on YouTube. I don't know how someone could research fair use so much and still not understand what it is. You can critique someone's points and reviews. It's the whole fucking point of fair use. If I don't like a movie, I need to be able to show clips of the movie that I don't like. And if I don't like your video, I should be able to show clips of your video that I don't like. Yes. Clips. He said clips, okay? He's not saying he's showing the entire video. Even if he showed the entire video and it basically is like a, a picture like myself in a corner and pausing the video, that is also fair use. My G, these are all fair uses, okay? Calm down, 
Let's not be copyright striking it's people fair use. just because. So we this can. guy is like arguing copyright law in his Elden Ring review. We are used to it. We shouldn't be copyright from the actual other. game and other companies that he's already just do that. Going quite after a lot. people that are really? criticizing him. How is this a review? Jesus. Why don't you think about like what you're making before you make it? And a lot of these smaller channels, 200 subscribers, 400 subscribers, 4,000 subscribers. That, that tier of lower YouTuber will steal videos. It's a no low thing tier a of you. So I'm a low tier. And if hey. you tell them not to do that. They'll just say anything. I'm is sorry, crazy. guys. Oh, we're low this tier. Everybody of lower that is watching YouTubers. me. I'm gonna talk we're all low to tiers. You because my piece is like 10 times smaller than yours, Mischief. Sorry. You seem to put a lot of importance on the validity of mischief. people's arguments based on their subscriber count. Hey, I'm trash. How many then. subs do hey. I have again? Over the years, I've had to learn the hard way that you can't. I don't even have 1k subscribers, but hey, I love every single one of my subscribers. And, fair use. That and returning views. viewers as well. You absolutely you don't need can to be a if subscriber you add constructive me, feedback to okay. the video itself. If you transform the work beyond what it was originally posted as. That is absolutely fair use. I've seen Osmond Gold react to videos of mine, and he adds genuinely good feedback <laughs> to my video and elaborates further on the points that I make. That should be a medium that is encouraged, not censored, right? I'm just here. By the way, how many Genuine minutes? By Christ, one hour. You know what? I could be posting also one hour videos because literally I've been recording for 59 minutes, AKA one minute to be an hour. I could be posting this for hours, but good I do like to edit my videos. To my video and elaborates further on the points that I make. That should be a medium that is encouraged, not censored, right? I'm yes. just here like reviewing a game once. Let me say that again. So that we don't get stuck up or because I reviewed a game once, didn't like it. Some sixteen year old kid. But you have quite a lot of rooms. Game is trash, the community is trash. Outside of one percent ultimately speaking, the game is like literally a zero out of a ten to me. I I, I could not possibly rate it. The worst score Final verdict. Uh bad frame rate. That's on you. Bad community. Okay, toxic dev mentality. Tox toxic dev mentality, bro. Toxic dev mentality. What does that even mean? Unwelcome into new players, bro. I am a new player, and I am. I feel very welcome to the point that I'm basically making another playthrough. Everything that he's saying here, I already made my statement on like a few minutes ago, so I I can't be making this video any longer than what it is. Boring open world. That's a lie. How is uh, how is that boring? No game changing next gen or fun. I could possibly get it. I, I would light it on fire on camera if I still had. It. At the end of the day, go <laughs> be creative, FromSoft. Start welcoming players. Start doing something outside of saying. Get Don't good. listen to this guy. Maybe Don't listen to anything he says. FromSoft, ignore him. That but they're not making with the concept of get good. What are you talking about? That's literally the player base that literally say get good. The developers don't tell you, hey, get good, and then you st start playing the game. Like, that's not what they're thinking. They just create the game and have fun. That's what they're doing. Like, that get good mentality has nothing to do with that the development. Him. He's Enjoy done. He's all stupid. The don't other listen to him. Blah, 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 blah. You're not hearing what he's saying. Blah, 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 blah. No game of the year. No real champion. Just bare minimum. When real next gen games come out, you'll be a footnote in a couple of months. Nobody will even talk about this game. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, so my advice is if you're reviewing a game, keep it about the game and don't just like go out of your way to flame the audience. Maybe try to come into it like, hey, I don't really know so much about these games. This is how it appears to me. These are the problems I have with it. A am I wrong? Am, am I missing something? Oh, I am. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I'll give it another try. Maybe just... That is a... Oh, God, there is another one. Do you know how much time do I take to edit these videos? Watch this video and you will know how much time does it take me. <laughs> Probably this video has nothing to do with this, but uh, uh, hey, watch it, okay? <laughs> Peace.